Hello everybody, this is Courtney and I'm back with the third, expression, the third expressions class of the day. Um, in this class we will be looking at the verbs do, as well as the verb do as well as the words all and time. And we're going to pick up or pick up where we left off in the last class. But if you weren't there, that's okay. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Okay. I see Diego, um, Alexander and Samal are back for our, uh, for this class as well. And we're going to wait for just a couple more people before we begin. So, what do you guys think of the expressions classes so far? Do you like Do you like my classes? Do you like yeah. you Yes, something? like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you uh, for uh, you learning uh, anything. Well, thank you for coming to my classes. Thanks for helping us to learn English. My, my pleasure. It's my pleasure. I love teaching. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity as well. Okay, now we'll just come back for my class. Very good. What we're going to do is look at the words to do. All and time. We're looking at more expressions. Amin, come back. Very good. Amin, hello, are you there? And Donnie's back. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start the class. We're going to pick up where we left off last class with this, um, with the verb to do. Um, and if you weren't there, that's okay. Don't worry. You'll be fine. But we're looking at do as a phrasal verb. So we're looking at things that you can do. And in our last class, we saw that you could do a course, like a math, for, or like a math course or a history course. You can do business. You can do a crossword puzzle. You can do an opera, a piece of music, or play. You can do damage, do a deal. Do the dishes, do your duty, and a few more. So what we're going to start with today is doing housework. Doing housework means cleaning the dishes or washing laundry. Doing laundry. It just means doing chores around the house. Doing housework. Is it like chores? Right. Mm -hmm. It's like jobs, chores, or tasks that you have to do around your house. So tell me, and don't you, when was the last time that you've done housework? When's the last time that you've done the dishes? Or the last time that you've done laundry? Or the Actually, last time that you. I did it today. What did you do? Uh, I cleaned the dishes. And I also okay. wash laundry. So you do I mean, the I just put the clothes on the of the washing machine. Uh huh. Very good. So okay, what I want you all to do is, whenever I say your name, I'd like you to give me a sentence using the phrase "do" or "doing" housework. Okay, and I'll start with you. Um, I'll start with you, Alexander. Okay. Every Sunday. Every Sunday, I help my mom doing housework. Yes, I help my mom do housework. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay, Diego. Um, today I did some houseworks to help my mom with uh, mop the floor and and love the dishes. Perfect. Very good. Thank you. Okay, and Johnny. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm afraid your background noise is very distracting. Okay, Asa? Hello. Today I clean my garden. And Joni, I'm going to have to ask you um, to stay muted until um, you have taken care of the background noise. We do not need that background noise. It's very distracting. Okay, Asa? 
Hello again. Hello. We're talking about the phrase do housework or doing housework. So it just means to do tasks, chores, or other things that need to be done around your house. Okay. Uh, cleaning or, yeah, like a right. housewife. Cleaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, something that a housewife would do, right? Yeah, I, I never I never do that because my I have a sister and my mother do all of it. Okay, so use uh, can you use that um, can you use the phrase do or doing housework in a sentence for me? And do housework or cleaning the dishes. Yeah, uh, okay. Do housework. I don't do housework. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't do I, I don't I don't like cleaning the dishes. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now well. Uh, my room it's a mess it's a mess. I have to do the laundry. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're using the word housework, so incorporate the word housework in there somewhere. Uh, well, actually, my my home totally is a mess. I had to do some quiet housework. Very good. Very good. Okay, Parina. Yes. Can uh, you uh, give me a sentence using the phrase "do" or "doing housework"? Uh, I sweep the floor uh, every day and vacuum. Uh, my room before I go to work. Okay, but use the word housework. I want everyone to use the word housework. Housework? housework. Uh-huh, and those things are housework. Those are types of housework. So you could say, I do housework every day before I go to my job, before I go to work. I do housework. Okay. So, yeah, I, I do housework every day. Very good. Yusuf, are you there? Okay, Simone. Uh, I clean the uh, dishes uh, when uh, I live alone. Uh, actually, uh, in my country, uh, men uh, don't uh, do housework. Mm -hmm. Very good. Men, men, plural, men don't do housework in my country. <laughs> okay. That is my chief pick. I don't know, like. Okay, so I want I want everyone to do a little exercise for me. Who can tell me the difference between housework and homework? The difference between housework and homework. Housework is 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 like chores, and homework is a work that you have to do for the school. Perfect. Right. So, housework is the same as doing the dishes, vacuuming. I'm sorry, let me spell it. Right. Vacuuming, um, cleaning around the house, and homework. Homework is work that you do, work that you do at home or outside of the school. Work that you do for school, outside of classroom hours. Okay. Um, and Joni asked me a good question. What is vacuuming? Vacuuming. Um, it's a little bit difficult to explain. It's a tr it's a type of chore. It's um, a way of cleaning the floor, cleaning the floor if your floor is carpet, and that's a type of floor. I have carpet in my floor. Here, I'll show you. Here, let me move my lamp. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, Does everyone I know understand. what carpet is? Okay. Carpet is like a plush floor, if you can see it. It's like a big rug. Right, it's like a big red. Right, very good. So
So vacuuming is cleaning the carpet. Really good. Vacuuming is cleaning the carpet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to move on to the next um, phrase. This one's a fun one. I enjoy it. It's to do an impression of someone. Who knows what this means? To do an impression. Do an impression of someone. Has anyone heard this before? Yes. No, I haven't. Did someone say yes? Yes. Maybe I think I know. Um, Alexander, do you, do you know what this means? Can you explain it to me? No, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Diego? Oh, another time I was reading a text about it is doing, ex doing an impression is create an image about someone. Right. Mm -hmm. It's to imitate someone or to act like someone um, or even sometimes um, to mock someone. So what you can do, um, how we can use this is um, who who here, um, what is a celebrity that you all know? Name a very famous celebrity, somebody. Just throw out a name. Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Does everyone know who Lady Gaga is? Yeah. Okay, so to, um, to do an impression of Lady Gaga would be to try to sing like her or to try to act like her. So who here can do an impression of Lady Gaga? Can anyone do an impression of Lady Gaga? <laughs> Can someone sing one of her songs? I know you all know poker face. Don't pretend. Don't it's pretend. a little embarrassing. It's, a, it, it's okay. We don't have any shame here. There's no shame. So doing an impression of Lady Gaga would be like, um, in a mocking way, you could say, Hi, I'm Lady Gaga. I like to do crazy things and make a lot of money and sing. Um, that's a, that would be an imitation. Um, yeah. A mocking imitation, or you could do a serious imitation by singing something like I don't know, like Poker Face. You could, I start singing Poker Face, that would be an imitation of her. Or um, you could start wearing crazy clothes and make a lot of money and say that that, that would be imitating her or doing an impression of her, right? So, um, he, who here can do a good impression of someone? Who can act like someone else? Someone, maybe a celebrity, maybe one of your friends. Uh, let's see. Let me think. Give me a minute to think. I'll give you guys a good impression. Um, let's see. Okay. Well, in the United States, I'll give you guys a little history lesson too. In the United States, we had a very famous president by the name of Abraham Lincoln. Abraham has, anyone, Lincoln. has anyone ever heard of Abraham Lincoln? Yeah, they have. Okay, so for those of you that have heard of Abraham yeah. Lincoln, you know that he was, um, he was a very good public speaker, right? So here's my imitation of Abraham Lincoln. <clears throat> Four score uh, and seven years ago. So then I would just continue with the rest of it. But that would be, a, that would, that would be an impression. That would be me acting like him. Saying, um, saying something that he would say, doing something that he would do. And that's um, the first couple of words from one of his speeches. So that would be an imitation or an impression of him. Okay, so can someone use um, to do an impression of someone in a sentence for me, please? Mm. I have an example. Okay. For example, kids are always doing impression of her parents. Yeah. Their parents, their parents. Right. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Always doing an impression of them. Always making fun of them, right? Maybe acting like them. Yeah. Very good. And Donnie? Okay. It can, it can, it can do an impression of Justin Bieber. <laughs> Okay, can you do an impression of Justin Bieber? Sure, oh, I'm, I'm the best. I, I'm the best singer. I'm the best teenager singer, and I'm going to sing uh, a little song. Oh, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> very good, very good. 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 Very good. Okay. Diego. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I don't know. Oh. 
Maybe Just... ah, okay. Maybe um, Pele. Pele walked the ball. Ball in the camping. Wow! Now it's go. <laughs> good impression. Good. I like that impression. Very good. Asa. Okay. Yeah, uh, I also don't know, but uh, I th I think Aston Kutcher. Okay. Do you, do you know him? Yeah, I know him. Okay. Uh, are you going to call me after this dinner? Um, is that I don't know if that that's a reference or what? Is that an is that your impression of Ashton Kutcher? <laughs> okay. Uh, how about the phone number? <laughs> Oh, I understand now. Okay. Yeah, Wait, he's a, good a womanizer. Yeah, he's a womanizer. How about yeah, them so digits, girl? That's my act. Very good. Now, Will? Uh, okay. Uh, hello, it's me, Mario. Ah, that's so good. <laughs> Thank you. I love that impression. It's me, Mario. Yeah, very good. Great. Okay. Parina? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I I have no idea. Uh, like, uh, I'm so sleepy now, and here you can just use just use it in a sentence. If you don't, if you can't think of someone to give an okay, a, a of. okay, I can make a sentence by use this impression, right? Uh huh. Okay, I I did an impressions of Superman when I was young. Good, very good. Okay. Yusef? Yusef, can you use give an impression in a sentence for me? Yes, I'm, I'm doing an impression uh, for the firm for 300. Um, Very good. Oh. And you can say um, give an impression or do an impression. Either one is, either one is correct. Yes, okay? they are. Yes. They are like um, glory men. Uh, uh, every time. It's part I don't know how. Okay. Simon? Uh, you give example Abraham Lincoln. Uh, uh, my example is that uh, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. Could you spell that for me? Uh, Could you Mustafa type it? Atatürk. Type it? Mustafa Can Kemal. Type it? Okay, okay. And who is this? Mustafa Kemal Atatürk uh, was established a uh, Turkish Republic. Okay. And what's your impression of him? Uh, <laughs> yes, I impression uh, for uh, for uh, his opinion. Okay. Can you can you act like him? Can you say something he said or do something he did? Can you give an impression of him? Uh, he he did he did uh, in nineteen. 38. Okay, but whenever you give an impression of someone, that means you're acting like them, or you you're doing something they did. Uh, I don't so whenever, understand you. Okay, whenever I do an impression of Abraham Lincoln, that means I'm acting like him. That means I do some that I'm doing something that he did. So he was a very um, professional person. He was he <laughs> acted very serious, and he was. Um, he was a good talker. So whenever I act like him, I can't like hang my head and I can't be lazy, right? I have to stand stiff and yeah. I have to be professional. And whenever I act like him, I have to try to imitate his voice. So whenever I talk like him, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna whisper. I'm not going to say we're score instead of music. No, whenever I act like him, I am going to speak loud and um, I'm going to speak very clear. Four score in seven years ago. So whenever you act like someone, whenever you're doing an impression of someone, you act like them. So can you act? Um, can you act like? I'm sorry, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Is that how you pronounce it? Yes. Uh, yes. How did he act? Was he professional? Yeah, he's honest person and. Uh, uh, he's Honest person and peaceful. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So whenever you do an impression of him, you want yes. to come off as very dignified, as yes. 
are impressed to him. Students. Impressed to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, do you know any of his speeches? Uh, what does speeches mean? Speeches are something that he said. Uh, okay. Uh, do you know I any know, of his words? Uh, yes, I I know a lot, uh, but I I uh, don't explain for you. Okay. Well, do you know them in your own language? Uh, uh, but uh, you want uh, I write it. Okay. Well, how about instead of writing it, you say it for us, acting like him. So you act dignified. You act like him, right? You have to pretend to be him. Whenever you yes. give an impression, you pretend that you are that person. You are that person. So why don't you give me an imitation of him or give me an impression of him? And you can speak in your native language if it's if you don't know it in English and act like him. Give me an impression. Uh, can you write it? Yes, I don't give understand. Me an impression of him. Act like him. Pretend to be him for me. Pretend. Yeah, what does pretend mean? It means it's something that's not real. It means if I say to pretend to be him, that means you are not him, right? You are not him. You have to pretend to be him. You need to act like him. So whenever I pretend, whenever I pretend to be Abraham Lincoln, I am not Abraham Lincoln. I am Courtney Smith. But whenever I, I pretend to be Abraham Lincoln, I am acting like Abraham Lincoln. I am speaking like Abraham Lincoln. I no, am standing. Okay, uh, okay, okay. I understand you now, uh, but uh, we don't know uh, how to he uh, talk. But you know some things about him, right? Yeah, because... Uh, you know he was peaceful. You know he was dignified. You yeah. know, may, do you know maybe if he was quiet? Was he loud? Do you know that? Looking forward. Okay, so you have to act like him. You have to pretend. So can you pretend to be him? Can you imitate him? Can you give me an impression of him? Uh, I understand you, uh, but uh, I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> well, as long as you understand, that is the important part. Yeah. As long as you understand. So if you understand okay. that you're not sure how to give an invitation or an impression of him, that's okay. We'll move on. Okay. So here's another one. It's pretty simple. This is a command. It's do your job. And this is pretty simple. That just means work harder. Or work harder, or um, it could also just mean uh, perform a certain task that you were assigned. So whenever you say do your job, it's pretty straightforward. You could say, for example, um, Alexander, let's say you are my employee. I have hired you to do a job for me. I could say, Alexander, stop being lazy and do your job. Do your job is the same as get to work. Do your job is the same as get to work. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So who would like to use this in a sentence for me? Who can give me an example? Ahmad, would you like to try? Uh, you said uh, do your job means get your job? Get it to work. Get to work, yes. It means get do your job. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes, uh, the time my uh, colleague, uh, my uh, my colleagues uh, try to annoy me, mm -hmm. uh, I say, please do your job. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Very good, Alexander. <laughs> okay, in that company, nobody does their job. Their boss should ask them to do their job. Perfect. Diego? <laughs> Today I stayed at home, but tomorrow I will do my job. Perfect. Edward? Okay, Edward, do your job. Just yeah. is a, It's a command. It's whenever you're telling something, it's telling someone to do something. Telling someone to do something. 
about my work? You mean? Yes, it can mean. Um, it usually means you're at work, but it can also mean outside of work. So tell me, um, Edward, are you a student or do you have a job? Yes, I have a job. I'm still an engineer. What is your job? Civil engineer. What is your job? Civil engineer. So, did you say civil engineer? Yeah. Oh, good. Civil engineer. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what do you do as a civil engineer? I'm um, interventor. You're an inventor? Yep. For a company? Yes. Like okay, so so you have a boss, right? Yes. Okay, say for example that I'm your boss. You are an engineer for me. I could yeah. say, Edward, what are you doing? Get off your phone and get to work. Go do your job. Oh, I'm just checking those uh, level of ground. Interventor. Interventor. What is? I don't know what that is. It's people who. Is a controller. Inspector. Yeah. The okay, so you're like a. I think in the United States, the person had interventor as a figure in workshop or workplace. Okay. Okay. Um. So almost like a manager, right? Like right? Kind of. Okay. So, Edward, I'm afraid that you have um, both the Verbling and the Google Hangout chat windows open. Or you did. I think you just closed one. Or closed one of them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, that would be an example. Asa? Okay. Uh, my, my mother always tell me, put a cork in it and do your job. Perfect. And you use, uh, put a cork in it, too. That's great. Yeah, I remembered it. Yeah, good job. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I like that. Okay. Noel? Uh, I'm tired of you saying that your job has it in your homework. Do your job. Very good. Okay. And Harina? Uh, Kearney, uh, don't spend the time on the internet too much. Do your job. Perfect. Very good. You say? For example, uh, if there is a bad manager and one of the employees want to criticize him, he will say to the employer, uh, do your job and stop Perfect. Talking. Very good. Simon? Uh, for example, uh, my my boss uh, looked looked to when I smoke. Uh, he shouts, uh, "Get to work!" Okay, very good. So, like, if you were taking a smoke break, you, you could say, "Get back to work." You know, go get to work. Very good. Okay, we'll move on. Go do your job. Yes, get to work. Do your job. Something. Okay. Okay. So, um, someone. Someone tell me um, the city where they live in. Anyone? It doesn't matter. Medellin, Colombia. Okay. Who said that? Me, Alexander. Alexander. And w could you spell the city for me? M, E, G, E. No, can you spell it? Or type it. Type it in the uh, chat for me. Okay. <laughs> and this is in Colombia, right? Okay. Medellin. Medellin. Something like that. Okay. Medellin. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have been there. Okay, awesome. Medellin. With Tilde. Medellin. Medellin. Okay. Catalina. So, what the, the next thing that we're going to be talking about, the next phrase that we're going to be talking about, is doing a town. Doing a town or city. So, say for example, Edward, what, what, what sort of things do you like to, or sorry, um, Alexander. Alexander, what do you like to do whenever you go out? Do you like to dance? Do you like to do karaoke? Um, what do you like to do? Oh, I like to go to the cinema. Go to the cinema. Okay. So let's say that you have plans with your friends to go to the cinema. That you're going to the movies. You could say, um, okay, let's let's do Magdalen. 
<laughs> Tonight, we're going to the show. We're going to the movies. Doing a city means that you're going out. Doing a city, going out to have a good time. Okay, someone else, tell me where they live. São Paulo, Brasil. Okay, São Paulo. Okay. Yeah. I know that. I know that place. I like that place. Wow. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, um, Diego, let's say you and I are both in São Paulo, okay? Um, I could okay. turn to you and say, Diego, I'm bored. Let's go do São Paulo. That means we're going to go out. We're going to have a good time in São Paulo. Okay, so can someone try to use this in a sentence for me? Alexander? Well, okay, for example, I would like to do New York Perfect. all my life. <laughs> Perfect, yeah, let's, yeah, I want to go do New York. I want to go out and have some fun in New York. Very good. Diego? Oh, <clears throat> here in Brazil, generally we watch football. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so tonight we can watch football. Okay, but we're we're using the phrase "do a city." So, where do you like to watch football? In what city? São Paulo. Okay, so uh, you could say, "Hey, let's go out to São Paulo and watch the football game." Oh, okay. okay. You get what I'm saying? Get my drift? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, good. Let me. Let me try. Um, we go to São Paulo to do to watch football. Good, very good. Okay, Edward. Yes. Okay, we're using the phrase "do a city." And my so, city, Cartagena. We um, can go. Yes. Go ahead. Would you like go to the beach? We can go to the beach. Maybe we can. Walk down in the in the story downtown. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're talking about doing a city. So can you use doing a city in a sentence for me? You know what? Sorry. Doing a city. So where where do you like to do these things? In what city do you like to do these things? In what city? Maybe Los Angeles. Los, okay, Los Angeles, perfect. I like Los, I like Los Angeles too. So let's say let's go do let's go do Los Angeles. You know, let's go out and uh, sing karaoke and walk on the beach and you know just do all the things that Los Angeles people do. You know, let's go out and do the city. You know, do Los Angeles. I would like make a tour and maybe in the in Hollywood. Yeah, let's go do let's go do Los Angeles and go to Hollywood. Perfect. A step. Okay. Uh, I I want to do Dubai yeah, because of the wonderful fountains. Good, perfect. Dubai, very good choice. Now, well, I'd like to do New Orleans and enjoy oh, okay. uh, and enjoy all those all those musicians on the streets. Yeah, definitely. That's the thing uh, to do. <laughs> good choice. I didn't know. Really. Yes, today is my birthday. Uh, let's go Ottawa. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and you said? Uh, I did put a good impression about Japan. I would uh, like to do Tokyo one day. You like to do what? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you. I, I, I'm, I'm doing. A, uh, I did a good uh, impression about Japan. I would like to do. Uh, We're talking about doing a city. We're not talking about impressions anymore. We're talking about doing a city. Okay, Sima, would you like to try? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Uh, can you repeat last question? Would you like to tell me a sentence using uh, okay. the word? Yeah, using uh, the phrase. Uh, I'm from Turkey. Okay. Istanbul. Very good. 
uh, if you uh, uh, board in Istanbul, uh, you give me a call. It's enough. Okay. So, what are some fun things that you like to do in, in Istanbul? Uh, you should go uh, Taksim Square. Do you know Taksim Square? No. Uh, Taksim Square is the uh, uh, biggest uh, central uh, in Istanbul. Uh, you should uh, meet a lot of things uh, from different countries. Okay. And what's it called? Did you say tax? Taksim Square? Yes, Taksim Square. Okay, so you could say, um, you're talking to me, you could say, hey Courtney, um, if you ever come to Istanbul, if you ever come to Istanbul, um, we can go out and do Istanbul and go to Taksim Square. We can go out and have fun in Istanbul, do Istanbul, and um, go to Taksim Square. Uh. You uh, <laughs> you want to uh, describe? Whenever we're, we're talking about the phrase "doing a city," so to do a city means that you're going to go out. No, and okay, have fun okay, okay, in okay, city. okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you go. You go to a pub to drink. Okay. Uh, because. Uh, Taksim, Taksim's pubs, uh, very uh, enjoyable, uh, and uh, you go to theater and uh, you go to church. Uh, I don't. Uh, okay, I don't. So I okay. don't uh, remember uh, its name, but uh, Taksim's. Taksim <laughs> have a uh, famous church. Simo? Yes. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to use do Istanbul or do another city um, in a sentence for me. So what we're looking at um, is, um, for example, if you're going to do New York, then that means you're going to go out and you're going to have fun in New York. So tell me. Um, using do Istanbul in a sentence, um, can you tell me, um, make, tell me some fun things to do, but use do Istanbul in a sentence. So you start by okay. saying, if you want to go out and do Istanbul, you should. Uh, you should. Uh, now start. Go to start. Start. Start um, with the words. If you want to go out and do Istanbul. Yes. Start if right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you want to go to Istanbul. No, if you want uh, to go out and do Istanbul. Uh, if you uh, doing, if you going out to Istanbul. If you want to go out to and go do. out and do Istanbul, uh, mm -hmm. you should go to Taksim. Perfect. Okay. Thank Very you. good. All right. So that one's a little bit, um, a little bit difficult. So um, here's another one that we use, um, and it is to go a certain amount of miles per hour, or to do a certain amount of miles per hour. So um, tell me, who here likes to drive? I like. I like. Asa. Okay, so Asa, how fast do you like to drive? Oh. The fastest. How fast do you like to drive? How fast? One hundred and thirty kilometers, kilometers per hour. Yeah. Okay, so there are three ways that you could say this. You could say, I like to drive one hundred thirty kilometers per hour. Sorry, my screen froze up. I like to drive. You could say, I like to go 130 kilometers per hour. Or you could say, I like to do 130 kilometers per hour. Okay, so what I want everyone to do 
whenever I, whenever I say your name, I want you to tell me what, um, how fast you like to do on the highway or on the interstate or on um, wherever, however you drive on the road. What you like to do. I want you to use the word do and give me an amount, okay? Is that clear? Clear. Okay. So, Alexander, I'm going to start with you. How fast okay. do you like to drive? Actually, I don't drive. We're pretending. But... Ah, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I was distracted. Okay. Uh, I like to do 80 kilometers per hour. Okay, perfect. Very good. Diego, how fast do you like to drive? Uh, sometimes I do... Um, oh. 1,020. 120. Okay, 120 kilometers per hour. 1,000? Wow. 100. <laughs> Not 1,000. Yeah. Not 1,000. Yeah. No. Too much. Okay. Okay. Asa? If, if he is in an uh, in, uh, airplane, he can. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Asa? Okay. I like to do 130 kilometers per hour. Perfect. Now, well? I like to do 50 kilometers per hour. Very good. Parina? I like to do 30 kilometers per hour. Jeez, slow. Yeah. <laughs> Cody? <of> Sighting. <laughs> I. Me? Yeah. Okay, I like uh, to do uh, uh, drive a camel. Okay, you like to ride ride a camel? Yes, because not yet here in Saudi Arabia. We can't okay, ride. well let's let's pretend let's pretend that you like to drive a car that you drive a car every day. So if you were to drive a car, how fast would you want to go? How fast? How many kilometers per hour would you want to do? I like to do uh, 115 uh, uh, kilometers. Okay, very good. You said? I would like to do 180. That's enough. Okay, good deal. And Simal? Uh, I like to go. Uh, I like to do. I like to <laughs> do uh, between. Uh, 80 and 100 uh, kilometers. 10, 110 kilometers. Okay, very good. And Alex, are you there? Alex Sebastian? Yes, I like to do 80 kilometers per hour. 80? Very good. Yes. Okay, very, very good. Okay, here's another thing that you can do you can do research. Who here has ever done research? Do research. Do research. Mm -hmm. Maybe for a university yes. or for a school project. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Okay. So we're going to start with Alexander. Actually, no, let's start with Alex Sebastian. Alex Sebastian, have you ever done research? Tell me about a time that you've done research. Yeah, I did research for my. Um, University when I was studying my business management. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Alexander? I'm sorry. Uh, I like doing research about history of art. Um, you like doing research about art history? Very good. Art. Whoa. Okay, very good. Okay, Diego? Um, this year, I did a research about photovoltaic solar energy in my university. Very good. Asa? Okay, uh, I didn't pay attention. Sorry. Okay, Asa, we're talking about the phrase um, to do research. 
maybe for a paper or for a university or just for fun if you like to research things. So tell me a time that you've done research. Okay, when you research something, we can use the word do. Yes, I do research. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when is the time that you've done research? Uh, maybe I do research uh, such kind of websites. Okay, I I have done internet research. That's how you would say that. I have done internet research. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, well. Uh, the doctors of my country did an excellent research in lung cancer okay. stuff. Yes, they did excellent research. Very good. Marina? Yes, uh, I'm doing research of uh, tainted food. Okay, about tainted uh, food, yes. About? Mm -hmm. I've done, or I'm doing research about food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Very good. No problem. Okay, Scotty. Uh, I have done um, uh, research about um, a small invention or easier invention. Okay, very good. Okay, very, very good. Okay, you said. Okay. Um. Some uh, Simon. Uh, last week, uh, I did research uh, for my class presentation. Very good. Very good. Okay. And we've already talked about this a little whenever we discussed doing housework. Does everyone remember that? Doing housework? Yeah. You, yeah. Another yeah. thing you can do is you can do the laundry. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's part of housework, right? Doing the laundry is part of doing housework. Yeah. So I'll just make this simple and quick. Tell me the last time that you've done the laundry. And use the phrase, done or did the laundry. Alex Sebastian? Okay, I did the laundry this morning. Perfect. Alexander? I have done the laundry this morning, too. <laughs> okay, I want to establish the difference between have done and did. Have done re represents perfect, a sequence. Perfect, no? It's yes. It re represents a sequence. It means that um, that you've done something more than once in the past. So you could say, "I have done, I have done laundry three times this week. I have done laundry twice today. I have done laundry every day, every week." For ten years, that's that represents a sequence. If you're talking, whenever you say, "I," whenever you're talking about something that you did earlier that day, whenever you're talking about one time, you use "did." So I did the laundry today, or I have done the laundry every day for two weeks. Okay, is that clear? Okay. Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay. Yes. So, Alexander, would you like to give me another example? Hey, okay. I will do the laundry tomorrow. Yes, I will do the laundry tomorrow. Very good. Hmm. Diego? Oh, <laughs> I've not done the laundry in my life. I've, not, I've yet to do the laundry, yes. I have not done the <laughs> yeah. laundry. Very good. Asa? So, uh, sorry, the doing laundry is like doing housework. Yes, it's um, doing laundry is cleaning clothes. It has to do with clothes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I I haven't I haven't done any laundry recently. Okay, very good. I have I have not done any laundry. I haven't done any laundry recently. Very good. Now, well. Uh, my flatmate has to do laundry because his room is. It's a mess. It's a mess. Very good. <laughs> Farina? Uh, I have done the roundy uh, since last week. Very good. Uh, since, let's see, how many times have you done it? Give me a number. Three times? Four times? Two times. Two times? Twice. Okay, I have, yes. 
I have I done don't know twice, twice. Randy, I have done the laundry twice since last week. Perfect. Scotty? Um I have um um uh, uh, learn. Okay. I've done uh, five. I have done learn five new uh, words uh, every day. Okay, but what we're talking about is the laundry. It means cleaning clothes. Okay, I should. Uh, okay, I have done um, the laundry uh, twice a week. For for how many for, years? Uh, for how many years? Yeah, how long have you done laundry? How many years have you done laundry? Uh, four years. Four years? Okay, so I have done the laundry twice a week for four years. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, yes, okay. You could also say, if you're talking about just this week, you could say, I did the laundry twice this week. Mm -hmm. Or you could okay. also say, I have done the laundry twice this week. You can say either way. See, Mal? Uh, uh, I'm not interested in the laundry. Okay, so I have never done laundry. You could say that. Yeah. I've never done laundry. Okay. That would be... Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Uh, I will ask you about the uh, uh, what you uh, focus on. Uh, the, uh, the grammatical or the vocabulary, okay? I think you want to use I have, uh, not the special, uh, the, the, this word, okay? Okay, what, um, we, so whenever we're learning phrases, I think it's important to focus on both the vocabulary and the grammatical aspect. So if at any point you have any questions, just let me know. Um, so what were you asking? Were you asking about the word had? Uh, yes. Um, uh, no, when, uh, when, uh, when I answer uh, about your questions, uh, I think you are focused on uh, only the... Um, uh, the structure of uh, uh, of the phrase, not uh, not only the uh, uh, special uh, word. Okay. Okay. So, so that's it. I'm changing. That's it. Okay. <laughs> um, well, the point of this class is to um, understand "do" as a phrasal verb, all the different meanings it can take on as a phrasal verb. So I think it's important to look at grammar. Um, especially in this class, so I will always try to correct grammar um, as as many times as possible, um, and I, you know, I want everyone to try to speak as grammatically correct as possible. Yes, and it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay to make mistakes. Okay. So that's why we're here. So. Okay. Okay. I have one more phrase for you today, and then we'll do some more practice over what we've learned. Okay. Asa, um, I have done laundry twice this week, or I do, those are both correct, yes, those are both correct, very good. Okay, thank you. You could also say, I did laundry twice this week. You could say it either way, it's, per it's good either way. Mm -hmm. okay. Because did, you're looking at one instance. So you could say, whenever you say did, you're looking at one week, right? You're looking at one week, the span of one week. So that's why that's correct. But you could also say, I have done laundry twice, because that looks at a sequence. Have done is a sequence. And you're looking at more than one time that you've done it, right? Very good. OK, so do some work. To do some work. So um, whenever you use the phrase, do some work, it means to, do, it means to work a small amount, to do a little work. Usually at home. Like okay. cook? Or... Yeah, cooking or cleaning or whatever. Yeah, you could say, um, for example, um, I am at my home in Illinois, and in a couple of days I'll be going to back to my university in New Orleans. So I could say, um, I have to do a little work around the house before I go back to New Orleans because I want it to be nice and clean for my parents. So that means there's not a lot to do, but I do have a little bit. I do have some to do, right? So um, tell me, when is the last time you've done a little work? Maybe um, something simple like um, folding clothes or washing clothes or maybe something 
a little bit more complicated, like patching a, a small hole in the wall or something. Just something simple, something that you've done probably at home. When's the last time you've done a little work? Ahmad? Yeah, yeah, I am here. Uh, before I joined uh, the class, this class, mm -hmm. uh, I did uh, some work. Very good. Alex Sebastian? Mm, um, I need to do some work studying more English, very more good. vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Need to do some work. Uh -huh. Very good. Diego? Alexander uh, first. Today. Alexander, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Okay, me. Um, uh, I, have a big, I have the big uh, homework for school, so. Today, I don't have to do anything, so I'm going to do some work. Very good. Maybe some chores around the house. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now Diego, sorry. So, uh, today, I make my bed. Mm -hmm. So, and after the class, I need to do some work. Very good. Asa? Okay. Uh, I don't like sitting back, or I can't stand doing nothing, so I have to do some work. Very good. Okay, Noel? I had to do some work with my brother. That's why I'm late. Very good. Harina? Uh, I will do some work before I go to bed. Perfect. Okay, Scotty? Um, uh, I learned my uh, uh, my kids uh, always uh, to do some work. Okay, very good. Sima? Uh, I spent uh, much money. Uh, I uh, do some work. Okay, good job. Okay, Noel also asked a very good question in the chat. Um, in Spanish? Um, <laughs> I, I know Spanish, so um, it helps mm -hmm. to know Spanish. Um, in Spanish, hacer la compra means to, um, it does have an English equivalent. The English equivalent of hacer la compra is to do the shopping. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're right. Yes. So, um, it usually means groceries, like food, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Do the shopping? Right. Yeah. I so, <laughs> yeah. So, you could say, um, buy the groceries or do the shopping. If you're talking, groceries means strictly food. Shopping also means household things. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. So, can anyone use two of the things that we learned today in a sentence together? Maybe, um, maybe we can do, let's see. Do research and do um, do work and do research in the same sentence. You can combine those into one sentence for me. Come on. Mm. Okay, in my work I need to do research to find out some materials. And right to do some buildings. Yeah, like I have to do some work which would be doing research for my um, for my job or whatever. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone have any questions over anything we learned today? Does anyone have any questions about anything that um, you, just anything? Any questions at all? Uh, about the, the do research, mm -hmm. uh, how, uh, what the preposition we use the uh, uh, after the do research, Let, okay. let's say when they do research about something or do research on something. Okay, so say for example, you said um, you could do um, I do research on on is the most common, but you could also use about. So I do research on computers. I. Or I do research about computers. Okay. It's the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank yes. you. Okay, I have a question. Can I yeah. say, oh, could you do me a favor? Or mm -hmm. That's it's perfect. better to say, uh, 
Will you give um, or no. make me a favor? Or? Nope, do. Mm -hmm. You can also say... Um, give me a hand. Yeah, give me a hand. Perfect, give me a hand. Give me a hand means help me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. 